Hello and welcome back. Well, as many of you know, Ubuntu is going to be dropping the Unity desktop starting with Ubuntu's 18.04 release. And they've stated, it appears, that they'll be switching from Unity to the GNOME desktop environment. My, now my question is, how how is GNOME going to look? Or what would it look like when they are ready to release that, I guess, next year? You know, back when the uh, GNOME 3 came out, was it about six years ago, uh, Linus Torvalds, <laughs> I, I, he cracked me up because of what he described GNOME 3 as. Of course, Linus, I suppose, one of the founding fathers of Linux, uh, if not the founding father of Linux, called uh, GNOME 3 <laughs> an unholy mess. Not just a mess, but an unholy mess. And now somebody pointed out where now he uses GNOME. Well, you know, you just don't, uh, make a statement like that unless there is or was some truth to it. Now I will say this, when GNOME 3 came out and Unity came out, I didn't think GNOME 3 was an unholy mess. Somewhat of a mess, I suppose. But I, cho I chose Unity because at least for me and or for beginners, I thought Unity was the easier of the two desktop environments. So it remains to be seen what exactly in Ubuntu 18.04 remains to be seen what exactly Ubuntu will look like. So I decided to download and take a look at um, the latest Ubuntu GNOME, what is it, 17.04. I won't be installing this, I'm just running this inside a virtual box. And we'll take a look at this and just to see what we have here. And you know, looking at this here, you know, Ubuntu GNOME is essentially what I would say is keyboard centric. Uh, yes, you can use your mouse to, you know, scroll through and get to your into your work or to your apps, but mainly you hit the Windows key and type to where that you want to go. So um, maybe for beginners, this isn't too bad. Um, but the one thing about I noticed with GNOME in general, you have to install or you have to tweak it and install the GNOME extensions to really make this usable and friendly. Uh, for beginners. Now GNOME does have some uh, extensions built in. If we go to uh, tweak that the uh, GNOME tweak tool and if we go to uh, let's see here extensions and you can see there's a rather eh, nice list probably enough to get a, a beginner started. Uh, to the world of uh, GNOME. But the problem with GNOME that I've noticed in the past, when you start to install uh, your favorite ex extensions, whatever that may be, they don't always work or they did work and now they break and you're trying to find a solution and your head is, you know, is wobbly like my wobbly windows here. And I believe in the past, GNOME 3 or GNOME Shell, whatever you want to call it, required uh, more RAM, more resources to make it functionable. Don't know about this one. Like I said, I'm just running this in live mode just to see what it feels like. And so far in a virtual mode, it doesn't feel too bad, to be quite honest. But in the past, I just dropped GNOME because I couldn't quite get all my extensions to work, work properly. And, uh, and also, if, if, if you didn't have enough RAM, it, it, it really ran sluggish, you know, co compared to, uh, you know, Linux Mint or even Ubuntu's Unity. Now, that may have changed with this release. I'm not sure. But as far as what Ubuntu does finally switch in 18.04, if it's GNOME, this version of GNOME, or if it looks like this, I will not be using it. It's just not for me. Um, if they switch to something that looks like Mate or some kind of, of fork, sure, I think this would be easier. And there's always Ubuntu Mate, which I believe is the Linux gold standard, at least for beginners. Notice I said for beginners. Uh, but that remains to be seen what happens with Ubuntu, starting with the 18.04 release, the next LTS release. But you know, for someone who is seasoned and knows more about Linux, sure, there's nothing wrong with Ubuntu GNOME. Uh, was it, is it an unholy mess? It probably never was an unholy mess, and I don't, don't think it is an unholy mess, according to what Linus said six years ago. And of course, people can change their minds. But if Ubuntu does switch 
uh, to this version of the desktop, I doubt if I will be using it. I'll stick with uh, Ubuntu Unity, Ubuntu Mate, or Linux Mint as my main desktop. But that's it. Those are my thoughts on the news that Ubuntu will be dropping the uh, Unity desktop in 18.04. Now, it does not necessarily mean the end, the complete end of Unity. I'm sure there'll be uh, you know, some opportunities or some news and somebody taking it and making it their own and forking it. But I've always said that in Linux, when you have a lot of forking going on, a lot of things get forked up. And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'll leave it there. But if you guys want to try this, or have you tried Ubuntu GNOME 17.04, uh, let me know. Just just playing around with this in a virtual box seems okay. But again, I did not install this to test. I just don't think it's necessary. I'm, I'm quite happy with my Linux Mint or Ubuntu Mate or Ubuntu Unity, at least so far. Well, that's it. Post your comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm thinking about doing a live event Sunday. I'll try to let you guys know by tomorrow. Uh, try to try to give you guys ample notice. I know for some of you in different time zones, I know I know you guys want to you know chime in and share your thoughts, and that's great. That's it for this one. If you haven't already subscribed and support this Total OS Today Technology channel, all the links will be below in the show notes. That's all I have for this one, guys. Take care.